I think there's a lot of excitement on our football team right now that uh, we're looking to move forward and, and improve from a tough year last year, being our first year in the Missouri Valley Football Conference. And uh, so the excitement, I think, comes from a great off season of work. Uh, the kids have gone and torn the weight room apart and uh, trained about as hard as they possibly could. And uh, they've gotten bigger and faster and stronger. And now we've gone through spring football practice. We'll culminate uh, Saturday with a scrimmage type game. Uh, and I think the changes, uh, although subtle, will be uh, very, very helpful uh, come this fall. Okay, every year in spring football practice, the goal is to insert your offense, uh, playbook, insert your defense, um, install it, you know, slowly uh, throughout 15 practices, and then uh, and to insert your uh, schemes on special teams. And, um, and then during practice, you practice uh, your installation uh, against each other, so you get a lot of reps against the same face. So a lot of it is very, very rudimentary, fundamental, and, uh, but it's a time uh, where we don't have a game on Saturday against somebody else. So we're not scheming uh, to play somebody else. We're just totally teaching every guy on our team, our offense, our defense, and our special teams. So every kid, uh, about 60 of us during spring practice, can be learning South Dakota Coyote football. Okay, I, we've made great strides on offense, and I think a lot of it a year ago I said, you know, we need birthdays more than anything else. Almost the entire offensive line returns after having started for a year. You can't buy that experience. That's, you've got to go out and get on the field and learn it. So that's tremendous experience for our guys. So we come back pretty veteran in the offensive line. Our quarterbacks return. Um, and uh, Josh Vandermotten uh, looks to be our number one, but Kevin Earls had a good spring, um, and as has Ryan Sager. So uh, we've got a couple young running backs uh, that uh, will back up Jasper Sanders and Irv Archambeau, but have brought a real toughness to our team. And defensively, uh, we return a lot of guys. Uh, secondary um, really looks good. Uh, I think they're being paced by our Two safeties, Aaron Swift, a senior, uh, along with Devin Taverna, also a senior. I'm really encouraged by um, our team play. Uh, our backups, you know, have to keep improving, but it looks like our number ones especially uh, have improved and uh, will make a better show uh, in the Missouri Valley Conference, I think, this year than we did a year ago. Well, I really like our quarterback play. Uh, I think the strength uh, of our offensive line has given him more time to throw. Um, a couple plays that Coach Bisharner has installed, I think, has taken advantage of uh, our offensive line's uh, strength and, and Josh Vandermotten's ability to uh, run with the football. Uh, Terrence Terry, I think, has had a terrific spring catching and running with the football. I mentioned our, our, our backfield. Uh, all have run tough and hard, and uh, we've got north and south, I think, better um, in spring ball than we have all last year. Um, and then defensively, I mentioned the two safeties, Taverna and Swift. Uh, Dylan Knox has just had a terrific spring as a corner. Um, I, I think our defensive line has taken some steps forward, and certainly uh, our outside linebacker, uh, number 11. Uh, again, uh, this guy right here. <laughs> now, I'll get him uh, <laughs> right there. Uh, look for this guy to be one of the top players uh, in the United States next year. Uh, I've got a lot of confidence in Tyler Starr and I think that um, I think this guy is going to help us have a big big season on defense.